Where's my jacket? Oh no, you didn't! Oh yes, I did! Oh! <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, Tim. What do you think? Existence is pain. Yeah, I guess you're right. AIDS. AIDS. My God, yes, eight. Oh, wow. Hey, are you a swashbuckling, corn truckling, wife cuckling, dick suckling pirate? Well, I got an idea for you, dude. Why, why did you throw the, the script? Dude, I'm this? just Kid, you're, you're the only one out of all the one I can go to, I mean, you're the only one, I just, no, just, just calm down, man, it's just, just let me, no, you, I'm just, dude, you, what the f- Hi, um, the name's Zero Farm. I changed my name days ago, and whether you're a swashbuckling, corn chuckling, wife cuckling, dick suckling, animal fuckling, something uckling pirate, well, I got the job for you. Here's the scene of me cutting a mango in half. That cut. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, if you're a swashbuckler, a corn chuckler, or a white cuckling pirate, come down the Jack's Butcher Shop. Be located in Asheboro or some crap. <sighs> After our first failed attempt of promoting Jack's Butcher Shop, we decided that we need to repay them back. We decided we should help them again by promoting their ad. And all I have to say about that is smell that nice fresh. Uh, smell that nice fresh air. So come down today and come to see the what the fuck? Come to see Jack's Butcher Shop. Come on down to Jack's Butcher Shop. We got the eats and the meats. You've got to eat. Jack's Butcher Shop. Watch us beat the meat. I'm about to go play Granny. <laughs> Psych, I'm not playing that cruddy game. Hi, Euro Farn. You may think Granny is cruddy, but you know what's cruddier? AIDS! Come on down, Jack's Butcher Shop. We got the AIDS! I'm starting to feel like your word today is gonna be AIDS. That's real funny, because now you have AIDS! Oh, fuck! Why is the back door open? Like, what the fuck? Uh, uh. Cade, now you have the AIDS! Then that means you have AIDS! We're the same fucking person! I'm immune to AIDS! No, actually, he's right, Katie is immune. It's just he's really, really retarded. Uh. <laughs> no, that's what I call coming out the closet. Yeah, fuck you too, pal. AIDS. Hi there. My name is Dat Random Asian. I am a self-diagnosing disease giver diagnoser. Say anything you want, I will diagnose you with the disease you really have. Hi, I'm Jackson. I can't hear out of my left ear. I'm sorry, pal, but you got the AIDS. Ah, fuck.
Hi, I'm Toby, and the left side of my mouth's been rotting for days now. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, Toby, but you got the AIDS. Guys, don't fall for this guy's quick scheme. He's just saying, he's just giving an excuse for him to call some stuff AIDS. Shut up, you imposter. You have the AIDS. Yeah? Well, you have the big gay. Mom gay. Joke's on you, I don't have a mom. Your dad lesbian. Ha! Joke's on you, I don't have a dad. Actually, wait. Now it's time for my pet peeves with Eurofarn. Hi, the name's Eurofarn. You know what my pet peeve is? Rap. No. No, I don't mean the. I don't mean rap in general. I mean. Well, actually, no, it's like. And not just rap, just certain people who listen to it. This also ties in with sports a little bit. You'll, you'll find out later. So basically, my pet peeve. It's just rap in general. It just, it's not it's not as good as it was years ago, like... Uh... <laughs> this new rap is just horrible. How did we go from this? It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack Mr. Magic <laughs> Molly Mall. Right. I let my tape rock to my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Remember rapping Duke? The hard, the hard. To this. Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. <laughs> Like, I'm not saying all of it's bad, it's just anything that's by Lil Pump or some stupid motherfucker with the name Lil in it, like, it's just bad. I swear, nowadays, anyone with the word Lil in their rap name means they're a rapper. See, look, Lil Microphone, Lil Cheetos, Lil Top Hat. Actually, that used to be my name before I quit. Lil PS4, Lil Gamer, Gamer Girl Piss. Lil, ga Lil Gamer Girl Piss, Lil TV, Lil Toothpick, Lil Dick, Lil Trash Can, Lil Shirt, Lil Dick, I already said that, Lil Ass, Lil Camera, Lil GoPro, Lil Pillow, Lil Chair, Motherfu- Lil Chips. Anyways, how this ties in with people that listen to rap, it's really big. I mean, I'm not saying all people are like this, I'm just saying some white people are like this, but... What's with you guys and thinking you're black just because you listen to rap? I'm not saying all people do it, but I'm saying some do it. This also ties in with sports because it's like... It's, it's like the sports thing. People think they're cool just because they play sports. I mean... That's, I mean, I get that you play sports... But that doesn't give you the right to treat people like shit. Like, I don't, I don't really, I mean, people are, okay, let me explain this better. People who listen to rap and play sports are like a horrible di dynamic duo. People think they're cool and that they're black just because they do it. Like, I get that you listen to rap and you play football, but I don't see why you have to be such a dick about it. Like, whether it's movies or in real life. Real movies are like the only thing that gets that like that gets right. Like people think that they're gods just because they listen to rap. I'm not the only one that thinks this. Like even a, even a person that plays like sports thinks the same thing. Like people act like that. I don't like why do what's with you people? <laughs> like it's like me going. It's like in the words of Fonty Frank, it's like me going around in a cowboy hat. Going, yeah! I'm surprised I don't have brain damage yet from all the yelling. Anyways, you get my point. Basically, I just, I hate rap and sports in general. That's why I never play them. That's why I never play them. My mom, my mom, um... So, if you see this video and your parents want you to play sports, show them this video. Then they'll know why you hate sports. And why you don't want to play them. This has been Eurofarn and my pet peeves. I'm out of here, guys. It's been great. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Here's a remaster of Chopping Crap Part 2, the unwanted sequel. Hey, Jackson!